From big money to big names, there is a rally for Senator Rubio happening right now. It is in South Carolina. Here are the GOP candidates piling on contender and frontrunner Donald Trump. I'm not sure a lot of voters are excited about having a president who, when he gets rattled, when he gets upset, begins cursing and yelling vulgarities. Donald Trump has zero foreign policy experience. Negotiating a hotel deal in another country is not foreign policy experience. Jeb Bush has no foreign policy experience, period. You have people running like a Jeb Bush. He's bringing his brother in now. He's bringing, he tried the mother, which is who's a very nice lady, I'm sure. But he tried the mother. That didn't work out so good. Now he's bringing in his brother. We need a president that knows what he's doing, not talking cheap talk. If we elect, nominate Donald Trump, we're going to be destroyed in the general election. But if he won, it would be a disaster as well. Jeb is spending all this time being negative. Does he worry at all about his legacy? Everything is trashing people. Spending all your time being negative, but you know what, I, I don't have time for that. Former Senator Scott Brown has endorsed Donald Trump. He is with me now. Senator, glad to have you here. What do you make of that comment? I'm going to go back to Governor Kasich's comment about being positive versus Donald Trump, whom you do support, who is very combative, let's say. Well, first of all, I like the governor, and I think any one of the people running would make a better president than uh, Bernie Sanders and or Hillary Clinton. Uh, that being said, uh, the reason I like Donald Trump is because he doesn't owe anybody anything. I kind of like that brashness, that unpredictability, the fact that he's going to go down to Washington, which is broken, kind of knock some heads and take some numbers. And I, sometimes it takes a swear word here and there. I don't certainly, uh, I, I, I wouldn't so do it. So funny you should uh, say swearing, uh, Senator, because Trump <laughs> is known for cursing. Marco Rubio coming out and saying, you know what, that's not very presidential. Here's Senator Rubio. Afghanistan is going to I just want to stay in the White House and work my off, make great deals, right? They're ripping the out of the sea, right? We're going to have businesses that used to be in New Hampshire that are now in Mexico come back to New Hampshire, and you can tell them to go themselves. Even in our political culture, I teach my kids to be respectful. There are certain words you don't say. No matter what setting you're in, act with dignity and, 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 and you know, act, hold yourself up. And then you turn on the TV, you have a leading presidential candidate saying profanity from a stage. Profanity from a stage. I, I mean, all these things undermine what we teach our children. All right, now Donald Trump, as you know, does say he's going to clean up his act. Here's his promise, Senator. Even if it's not a bad word, if it's a little bit off, they kill me. So I won't do it. I'll never do it again, actually. And I'll never even copy somebody what they asked me to say. All right, that last part is probably what counts more than the former. But what do you think that Donald Trump needs to do, Senator, in South Carolina? Sure. Can he win there? Well, first, well, uh, yes, of course, again, when he's the front runner right now and you see the piling on, it's, and I think this election, quite frankly, has been pretty mild up until now. South Carolina traditionally is kind of where the dirty tricks start and kind of them really battling back and forth. Uh, I've, I've said it to uh, Donald. I know others have said, listen, you've got to start acting more presidential. People like your message. They like how you're saying it. And the way he's talking, quite honestly, is the way many of us talk in our homes and with our friends out having a beer or something. Uh, but when you're running for president, obviously, you look that a little bit differently. So I've made that suggestion. I'm glad that he's taking that advice from me and others. Uh, but bottom line is uh, Marco complaining about uh, Donald Trump's swearing isn't going to help him in the polls. Uh, he needs to actually come through and have a very solid debate. And let's keep our eye on the prize. After last night, uh, seeing how far left Bernie Sanders is taking Hillary Clinton, JFK would be rolling in his grave. This is not JFK's party anymore. And you look at Bernie Sanders, I find it fascinating. Uh, he's not a, he, he, is he an insider? Because he's been in the Senate for 10 years. He's been in politics his, almost his whole life, and somehow all of a sudden he's an outsider. It's almost laughable. All right. We are glad to have your perspective. We thank you. Former Senator Scott Brown thank you. with me there.